Hi, I'm your host, Marsha Florence for Just Ask. Today, our show is Light and Easy Cooking. Hurry back and join us. Welcome back to the show. For those of you who are just not joining us, it's a light and easy segment with Chef Bradley Patterson. Now, Bradley, we were talking about earlier something nutritional. So, uh, you know what? You're famous for salmon, and, I, and it's one of my favorites. So, I, I see you have some salmon. Tell me, what, what more can you do with salmon? Uh, I'm going to combine it with uh, this roasted barley, roasted barley with uh, Roma tomato and Asiago cheese. Uh, what I found out that uh, what barley does in the body, it uh, aids in digestion. But just like I, like I was saying prior, it, it kind of gives you a bloated feeling when you first started, you know, start eating it. Mm -hmm. So uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to because most people don't have a lot of fiber in their diet. Okay, so so barley is high in fiber. Yes, yeah, a okay. very. It's one of the. It's, it's like a superfood. Okay. Because like I say, if you if you eat barley on a regular basis, it, what it does is um. The body is hollow like a tube, so it, it, it forces things through the mm -hmm. digestive system faster, and it don't, it don't allow fat and cholesterol. It, the fat and cholesterol attaches itself to the barley. Now let me ask you about the barley, though. Can you eat it by itself? Yeah. This is basically what we it, it's To me, it's a side dish. Okay. You know, because uh, you, you get rice, potatoes. Uh, we've had couscous here, which oh, yeah. was... Uh, I like couscous. Okay. Right, <laughs> right. But, yeah, exactly. So now, okay. and, uh, or, over time, you're going to be liking barley. I sure it, will. Because uh, I, mean, I have to replace rice now. I'm not supposed to have rice per well, se. Well, this, this so. will definitely take the place of rice. And, and like I said, so many different ways that you can fix it. Okay. I mean, you can do it. You can, you can actually take barley and put it over top of a salad instead of wheat germ or something to that effect. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, the, the whole key here is to uh, get people to get back into adding fiber to their diet so okay. that uh, uh, it'll aid in digestion to help these children. Because like I say, you know... Uh, all the diseases in our body comes from that um, that digestive system. Oh yeah. So like allergies, I'm not saying it'll eliminate allergies out of your body. That's well, you want to be able to control some of the exactly. The so some elements. of the the, the the you know the sicknesses because stuff. like milk holds mucus when you it, have a cold. Exactly. Okay. So Ex exactly. dairy products, milk, cheese, and mm -hmm. ice cream. Right. That's why I no no during cold season. It, but right. people like it because it's like I got a cold, but the ice cream will make me feel better. Right. Okay. So I, right. like I said, so the, the, my my goal here is to just like I said, get people to try just try different stuff. Okay. You know, it's, it's not going to be for everybody. I mean, they got. Uh, Fiber that you can drink in a glass. Right. Uh, well, different brands they have on the market. We want to see what you do with the fiber that you eat. So can I, can I take this lid off? You can take this lid off, and we're going to okay. heat this up a little bit. Now, the, the, what I did here was barley takes about 40 minutes to cook. So uh, I, I got it started a little bit in advance. So it's pretty much uh, getting uh, done now. Okay. So and what I'm going to do is uh, I brought my famous grill in with me. Okay. I, you know, I, I live by this thing because, like I said, it, um, most of the stuff that I eat now takes 10 minutes. Okay. So let me ask you this. So this entire meal itself would take about how long? Roughly about 40 minutes. The length of time it takes to boil the, the uh, barley and get it uh, soft. Okay. okay. And, is and there a seasoning in barley? Uh, no. This is, this, is just, this is natural here. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add some tomatoes to it. And uh, the tomatoes just gives it a, uh, like a veg pretty much. Okay. And that's like tomatoes are high in antioxidants, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And they they real good for you. Now, now notice, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have an apron on, so that means I'm not working. I'm just observing today. Yeah, that, okay. that's, that okay. was my goal today, was just to have you uh, watching, because normally I always put you to work, so yeah. today I'm not. Okay, appreciate it. Okay. Now, like I said, the purpose of the tomatoes is it adds color. I, I, I was, you can throw mushrooms in here, you can throw... Mm -hmm. uh, well, so asparagus you can, you can tips. Add, okay. You know, it's, it's, it's endless. Just like I say, anything that you can throw in a pasta dish, you can throw in this barley. Okay. 
And now, I got, are yeah. these vegetables to assist in flavoring or? Yeah, some, you know. I, I, like I say, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty plain eater now. Okay. You know, I don't need a lot of salt. I don't need a lot of, uh, as you can see, the only seasoning I have is pepper. All right. Because this is, pepper just, to me, brings food alive. Okay. So now, if you just add pepper, but somebody says, well, wait a minute now, I need a little, little taste. It, 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 if you need a little salt, then fine. Okay, so but a little salt or, well, low salt or Mrs. Dash or something like something that? Something to that effect. That's if, you, that's if you want that. You know, okay. like, like for myself, I don't, uh, I'm not using salt for the simple fact that I'm putting cheese. Oh, okay. Uh, to finish this dish off. Okay. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not adding any extra sodium. Uh, not saying that soy cheese is full of sodium. Okay. But it. You want me to stir this? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I don't want <laughs> you to work ask. today. Oh, okay. Remember, I just asked. Okay. <laughs> now let me let me say this. So, okay, the cheese that you're using, what type of cheese is that? It's a. Uh, have you ever heard of Sargento's? Sargento's. No. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a brand you can find in the supermarket. Sargento's. Okay, yeah. so is that a soy cheese? It's a soy-based okay. cheese, the one that I have, yeah. Okay, okay, because I know you're not a real cheese eater or anything, so... Right, we try to stay away from any, any dairy or animal okay. fat that's... Um, because, like I say, to me, it, cause, it actually causes me problems. All right. My body is not a, won't digest it right now, so... Okay. I, I knew it couldn't be ordinary cheese, so that's right. why I said I knew it had to be something. Okay, so it's a, so, it's a soy cheese. Because you introduced us one time to a soy butter. Right. Okay. Right. And I actually like the soy butter. Just like I told you, like I, like I said, I say it, it takes a little getting used to. Okay. You know, because like I said, when you when you when your bodies are used to uh, eating meat all the time, mm -hmm. and you stop, it's like meat is like a drug. It'll just call you. It'll wake you up yeah, at night, it and it'll too. have you uh, relapsing, okay. so to speak. You know. Okay. So I, I try to stay away from. Um, well, you know, I realize that, that, week for, that you know? some meals, if you eat some meals, then, you know, you don't get sleepy as fast. You won't be as sluggish. And, you know, like, like if you go out to dinner, you always seem like you have to have dessert. You got to have everything, you know. But yet, really, you're already too full to eat and you study stuff in any way. Right. So, but I enjoy cooking at home because I know the, the amount I'm cooking. And, you know, if I want seconds, I get seconds. But normally, I know how I feel about my own food because I can prepare it to my liking. Well, well, and then, like, normally, just like I said, we, we have, a, have gotten in the habit of, of supersizing. You know what I'm saying? So we got oh, we, yeah. we to have these gigantic portions. So you, you, you figure out how much substance do I need to live? Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you, you want your body to uh, use what you uh, put in it. Everything mm -hmm. else you want it to expel. Okay. So so if you sounds good. So if you, I mean, well, I'm just saying you, you know, that's the whole key. Mm -hmm. The 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 least of, if you if you if your body doesn't use it, then yes. it starts to store it. Right. So the so the key is fiber going to keep it from being stored. Okay. It's going to take anything bad with it. Okay. Right. And, and I, I'm I'm telling you this from my personal experience. Okay. Because, like I said, I made a I made a, a serious change, and uh, I find out if I stick with it, and I've been sticking with it for now, 15, 16 months. Okay. And okay. Um, um, I can walk five miles, no problem. All right. Now, let me ask you this. So, with the salmon, there's no seasoning, I noticed, but pepper. Yeah, that's all I'm putting on is pepper. Okay. Just a little bit of pepper. Because this, this is like the... Uh, wild salmon it ain't farm raised it's wild okay is there a big difference between the type of salmon when you say wild salmon and i mean because i've listened to where a lot of the critics say use wild salmon so is it wild salmon the new thing or does it matter it it, ma it, it matters because just like we, we're finding out that uh, uh, a lot of seafood has mercury and different other mm -hmm. contaminants that have been in, introduced into the environment so so some people say farm raised is better. Some say wild is better. My thing is, I, I just like the flavor of wild okay. over the uh, farm raised. And to me, the color of the meat is a lot better. Okay. And it's, I mean, because salmon is a fatty fish, mm -hmm. so I like the um, omegas that I get from it. Okay. So, so like I said, it, these two combined together will it, it's, it's phenomenal. All right. Well, I believe you because uh, I know what you can do with salmon. And <laughs> I'm a salmon fan, so. So like, so like I say, the salmon I skin. Uh, okay. Now, is it always best that you skin the salmon? I mean, I know. mean, it's, it's your choice. Now, it depends on the type of dish that you're making too. Like, I, 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 uh, I, I skint it because um, I don't really care for the skin. 
Okay, but skin's okay if you do ham. Oh, yeah. Okay, people, I, I, know, I notice you always skin your salmon, and, uh, you know, our audience viewers might say, well, I like the skin, so I'm asking for the sake of myself and the audience. Right. If we choose to have the skin, it's okay. Of course. Actually, because when I'm actually cooking fish or something like um, from a steak, I no longer do, or better yet, we don't necessarily have to be vegetarians, but we're changing our food habits. Right, right. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, my goal is not to tell anybody not to eat beef or pork or anything like that. It's the choices. Okay. Now, I'm, let me ask you this now. You said it takes 45 minutes, so when it's, it swells up like this, that means it's, it's done? It's close to being done now. You know, like, like um, uh, at home, you can soak it in, o overnight. You can put it in water and just let it soak overnight. Then it'll, okay. it'll hydrate. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So for the sake of, uh, of time, I kind of got it started a little bit in advance. Okay. So if you soak it overnight, then it still takes 45 minutes? No, to it, takes the, it shortens the cooking time because it has... Uh, absorb most of the moisture or water out of it. Okay. Well, I'm glad you told me. So if you soak it overnight, that means you soaked it and you rinsed it off and you put it in a pot of hot water. Exactly. Okay. Or you don't have to. You can actually cook it in the same water. The bag suggests that you cook it in the same water. Also, it's not really rinsing it off. You don't, you don't, you don't have to. Okay. Okay. The, the, the choice is yours. Okay. Like I said, if you want it rinsed, then it, it just takes away something from it. You know what I'm saying? Because like, like I, I explained to you about the uh, brand is a little better than, you know, oat brand is a little better than oatmeal because of one step of the process has been mm -hmm. eliminated. Mm -hmm. and, and, and brand does the same thing as, as barley. It's, it, it acts as a uh, fat remover from the body. Okay. So, right. so just like I said, well, if, you, if you ate this five days a week, you, was, you would be trying to figure out why am, I, why am I losing weight. Well, if I eat it five days a week, believe you me, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be calling you on the sixth day saying, okay, I'm getting hungry for something else now. But no, I, mean, I understand. So, so I can just incorporate this with my meal yeah, of course, every of course, day. Because like I, so, I want to make a part of this. I am. I'm going to make this, and I'm going to have my variety of, of light meats, what, what, which whatever, is chicken whatever you, and fish. Right. Whatever okay. you want to put in it. Like I say, it's, it's, it's not limited to just tomatoes and, and cheese. Okay. You don't well, have to put cheese well, in it. Well, I, I just want, you know... Dear, when I get home, we're going to try this. All right, so I just wanted to make sure he understands. Okay. Well, I mean, you know what, Bradley? While you're in the midst of doing all that here, uh, we're going to take a commercial break, ladies and gentlemen, and I guarantee you when we come back, it's going to be close to eating time. We'll be right back. Passing gas can be deadly. Whoa. Oh, something's funky. Passing gas releases a plume of toxic vapors. Oh, oh, honey, not in the car. Like ammonia and hydrogen cyanide. Oh. Oh. And lethal poisons that can linger even when windows are open. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. Don't pass gas. Take it outside. messages about women and violence. I need a little clarification. Uncle Bill, how am I supposed to grow up to respect women when I have such lousy role models? Boys are never going to approach you. Can you help me reshape my attitudes towards women? You need to teach them that violence against women is wrong. <laughs> serves a sentence with you. How many minutes left? The bill books are... Just two of ones. Passing gas in the presence of others is not only inappropriate... That is so foul. It can be deadly. Passing gas releases a fog of carbon monoxide. Grandpa! And other poisonous fumes that can contribute to asthma and pneumonia. You're killing us over here. Kids shouldn't be exposed to secondhand smoke. 
Don't pass gas. Take it outside. You who are just now joining us, welcome back with uh, Chef Bradley of Worldwide Catering. Now, Chef Bradley always comes in, ladies and gentlemen, and gives us an insight on a healthy meal that you at home should try. And if you don't get the information today, check out our website, uh, www.justastalkshow.org. Uh, this recipe will be on the web? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this, this recipe particularly? As soon as Monday. Thank you. Okay, we'll have this recipe on the web. Or you can always give us a call at 248-988-0250, 248 248- Nine eight eight zero two five zero. Now, I also want to encourage you, ladies and gentlemen, if you know someone that's a good cook and you have a show idea, drop us a line, an email, or give us a call, or check out the address at the end of the show, and you can send us a name, a contact person that you would like to see on the show that could prepare a lovely meal that has to be light and easy, which is very healthy cooking. Right, Chef Bradley? Very light and easy. Okay. All right. So, now, I'm sorry, I was in the midst of Giving out some information here, I just noticed that you put some cheese in there. Yep, this wow. is a soy, uh, Asiago cheese. That's okay. a soy-based cheese. Okay. And uh, like I said, I, I, instead of using salt, mm -hmm. so you got to give up something. Okay. So I, I chose to give up salt okay. for this particular dish. Now, the agi, agi, Asiago. 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 That, that cheese is like in the Parmesan, Romano cheese mm -hmm. family. Okay. Yeah, it's like a... And you should get it shredded. I would, yeah. Okay. It melts better but when it's shredded. But it comes in a bar and shred or just... You can get it in, in, in block form, yeah. Okay, okay. So you put but the... But see how easy, it, how, how it melts evenly? It sure did. It smells yeah. good, too. I, I, oh, it's a great dish, I'm telling you. Okay, now, so, now this makes me feel better because I, I noticed, like I said, you only put pepper in and you use tomatoes as a base, okay, and you said you can use other vegetables and blah, blah, blah. Whatever, whatever, whatever you want to eat that night. So the know? cheese, now, so the cheese is not going to... Stop, stop, stop you up. I mean... It's, it's soy. Soy, okay. All right. It, it has no animal fat whatsoever. Okay, and it smells good. And our, our salmon is getting... Oh, our salmon is almost That's there. Salmon is beautiful, okay. Now, a lot of people don't, don't have a, a, a foreman, you know, and the George foreman is the hottest thing going on right now when it comes uh, to a you fast know, like meal. I said, I didn't care so, about it at, at first, but once this, this thing actually changed my life. Okay. Okay. I'm serious. I okay. mean, I don't even use my stove anymore. Well, you know what? And, and I put a steak in the oven. I put a steak in the George Foreman. And we very seldom eat red meat at home, but every now and then somebody says, Have you, you know, ever put a scallop on your, on your George Foreman grill? No. Yeah, you put a scallops scallop? on there, shrimp. You know, they grill. Shrimp? Oh, of course. Oh, my goodness. Not a shrimp. <laughs> Yeah. Don't, don't get me started, because you know I'm so used to trying to figure out a way to eat shrimp other than just, you know, have them... Uh, now, now, can you, uh, now, you, now, now you, you, the, the, two, the two flavors that the people at home can't smell it, right, but, you, right. but you see how they're going to combine well, together. They, well, they'll know by the smile on my face. <laughs> they'll know by the smile on my face that it's, it's, it's there. Yeah, uh, so when these, the way these bad boys combine together, I'm telling you, they are phenomenal. So we're going to get you a little tasting going here. Now, you know, I always have a question with you about the salmon, because last time I had you here, you and Barbecue Bob, yeah. you guys were telling us that you don't have to cook a salmon at the full length of time, which is like, what? A salmon is a, a fish that you can eat. You can actually eat it raw. It's one of the fish that you find in sushi That's bars. That's scary. Okay. What I'm saying, you find it in sushi bars, it's, you know, it's, it's a fish that can be eaten raw. Okay. We, we have become a society that... Um, that feel we have to cook our food before we eat it. I mean, man mm -hmm. ain't always cooked his food. Well, you know, I can understand the, the, in sushi bars that, you know, salmon is, is pretty much raw. I have seen it that and way. tuna. But I thought it was kind of like uh, smoked or something when you see it in sushi bar. I didn't know that you actually have it raw. Right. It's raw. Okay. Okay. But for the purpose of our show, for our viewers, if they wanted to eat salmon, how long would you tell them to cook the salmon? Now, on this, on this grill here, it probably takes four minutes. Okay. Uh, in the oven, it'll probably take seven to eight. Mm -hmm. Because salmon, like I say, uh, even though we don't stop cooking, it's still cooking because it's at a certain temperature. So, like, normally I cook my salmon medium rare, and by the time I get it to the table, it's oh, nice okay. and flaky. Okay. And that's the part, you know, I've been to some places and the salmon has actually gotten dried out. And I'm like, oh, God. Because it was overcooked. Right. You know, and it's, it's, it was grilled. It looks pretty, but it's actually dry. And yeah, I'm like, exactly. it, it killed and it's overcooked. my favorite meal. <laughs> now, 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 just like I said, normally if I was going to eat this dish, like, well, actually I had it Thursday night. So, but I had okay. mushrooms and tomato and um, some fresh thyme and stuff in there. 
Okay, well, you know, I'm not going to hold up shop because uh, I'm looking at it like I want to eat it while it's hot. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try the barley. The, the barley first. Okay, and I know you guys got a good, good shot of this because the barley looks good, and it's. And just like you know, like like you can have a risotto. It's it's a lot of different mm -hmm. options. Okay. It's a lot of. That's different. barley. Yeah. I don't know what I was thinking when I heard the word barley. So normally when you don't like something too, I know you don't ever eat it twice. I noticed that about you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. But That's true. Okay. And you don't have to have a problem with me with salmon because you know I'm a... a and see, I like the way the salmon flakes. Right. That's what I'm, that, because it's not over, overcooked. It's perfect. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. You got me. Well, oh. that, that was my goal here, but I, I, I don't want to just get you... I have to do salmon get, twice too. Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, but like I say, my goal here is because you know a lot of the people that I come in contact with, they say, uh, "Well, what can I do to get ready for my bikini?" Mm -hmm. And some people I say, "Well, you know, you need to buy a one piece," you know. <laughs> <laughs> but but others, the, the thing of it is, we we have a tendency to hold our weight in our midsection, mm -hmm. in a, in hips and thighs. So this mm -hmm. meal like this will help you eliminate some of that. Stress that right. we have around our midsection. So this is a good meal to eat and know that you're exercising. If you exercise a little bit, just okay. a little bit, not okay. not a lot. Like I say, it's, you can exercise sitting on the couch. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna have that gentleman on because there's a, a gentleman that's called the couch ec potato exerciser. Or yeah, something but, but that's what I'm that's saying. So, idea. so so I mean, if you we have a tendency to sit down and don't do anything, but if you move your legs and arms mm -hmm. while you're watching TV, mm -hmm. it's, it's a form of exercise. Or have we, a stationary bike in front whatever. of the TV. Yeah. But yeah. you got to do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because uh, we're a society of appeal. Give us appeal and it'll make it better. Okay, <laughs> but, okay. But, but the point of it is, if you take a headache, it masses the pain for a little while, and then three, four hours later, you either take another pill or you, that pain's come back. Mm. Well, I must admit... You got me there because I'm... Um, well, well, like I said, my, my goal is to help people incorporate different things into their diet so that they will um, add uh, years to their life. Okay. Because, you, I mean, you think back when kids were young, they had these high-fiber... Mama always put beans and stuff on the table, so you always had so many beans and you... Okay. You, you can only be healthy. Well, I, I tell you what, this is one of the meals, ladies and gentlemen, that I would say try because I'm really impressed. I'm, I'm enjoying the barley as much as I did the couscous. Yeah, and well, you, you, had, you had a doubt about couscous. Okay, right. I, sure, I surely did. I surely did. So I would suggest that these two recipes, ladies and gentlemen, the couscous and the barley and definitely the differences with the salmon that uh, Chef Bradley has uh, done over time. Do try some of these recipes, and if you have a question for Chef Bradley, you can always call us or check out the website, and he's online with us at the website, justastalkshow.org, and you can easily contact him for a question about something healthy or a show idea if you'd like to see him try something different. Okay. Yeah, whatever, whatever they want me to make. Okay. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I mean, I'm going to keep up with you because I'm, you know, trying to prepare myself for the warm months as, as well. And I want to keep my weight down or get it down even lower. And this is one of the meals I want to try at home. You know what? Matter of fact, I, I, the next time I come back, I got, a, I got an idea for you. We're going to do this, this fruit salad. Okay. All right. Well. With, 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 with uh, soy sour cream. Soy sour cream. Okay, you heard him himself. He said we're going to do a fruit salad with soy sour cream. So we're going to hold him to it, and uh, we'll have him come back again real soon. Well, Chef Bradley, thank you once again. Marsha, it's always a pleasure. Okay. We look forward always. to seeing you with the chef salad. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know who I am. I'm your host, Marsha Florence with Just As. And we have a lot of things going on as the warm months come about. So if you have a show idea for us, please drop us a line. Go to our website, justastalkshow.org. Give us a call, 248-988-0250. If you have a show idea or if you know someone with a disability or have a general question, you need to just ask. Don't be afraid to ask. Just ask. I'm your host, Marsha Florence, and thank you.
There is really only one boy. One girl. One tree. One forest. One deep dancing ocean. One mountain calling. One handful of sand through our fingers. One endless sky overhead. And one simple way to care for it all. Please visit earthshare.org and learn how the world's leading environmental groups are working together under one name, Earthshare. One environment, one simple way to care for it. Hello there. Having a lasting effect on a kid's life can be quick and easy. Here's some stuff we've learned. From time to time, secret codes may be used. It's not uncommon for a kid to demonstrate special powers. Costumes can be uncomfortable, but loads of fun. Moments like these happen every day. Lend your support. Go to bigbrothersbigsisters.org. That's all for now. Studies show babies who are breastfed are less likely to develop ear infections, respiratory illnesses, and diarrhea. Babies were born to be breastfed. There's one clear you! Is it mice? Nope. Rats? Nope. Hogs? That's right, miss. Hogs. Energy hogs. If you're wasting energy, you'll find one in your home. Got energy hogs in your house? Now you have the power to do something about them. Log on to energyhog.org. Hey, let me go. In your dreams, Corky. Because nobody likes an energy hog. Things can get pretty ugly when you're bored. In an after-school program, you can find something way better to do.